poem for Hype Williams by Neil Simone. I could sometimes get a little hype about Hype Williams. One man I can begin so many places, but then we may never truly arrive. You see, the 90s is where my life began. A golden era when hip hop, R&B, soul music videos was more than amazing. I'm so serious that words can't even begin to describe, but it was sort of like Biggie and Hypnotized. And around that time, locked on the music video countdown slayed my arm and eyes. While the teachings about black slaves on History Month was at a rise, I mean, I had already gotten a point, but at some point, just imagining those stories felt like I had died or been defeated. When in actuality, that moment's absolute reality shine artists like Missy Elliott and Mob Deep had knives on a yacht screaming, the life is mine. And nah, I can't even lie. Even though I wasn't in the music videos, that feeling alone made me feel so alive. Come to find out, that video too was directed by Hype. And I didn't even notice, just innocently and excitedly ever so observant. I never searched for Hype, yet his directions never went unnoticed. Now, before I continue on to carrying on about Hype's timeless legendary catalog that literally carries on and on, I couldn't write this poem about Harold without letting this here be known. Hype Williams is the godfather, now and forevermore, to the illustration side by side the originators of a platinum era that epically made its own birthing into a system that spread like wildfire globally, while impacting the lifestyles of billions. A story that in the case of so many, a lot of these artists came directly from the pits of the ghettos and everything it means to have not much but a dream. To look out of a barred project window, see the ground shaking, but also to remain focused. To see into the shining stars and just know that if I wanted to, mentally get away. I can make this image my idol, but I personally praise no image. I'm just here trying to elaborate this feeling. Hype Williams not only directed the visual art to these stories, but as well he did this in a rare supernova non-duplicated signature style of his own invention. A signature that only Hype Williams, the absolute prominent extraordinary artist, should be acknowledged for forever and forevermore as one of the first of his time to do what he has done. I call that greatness. So in short form, allow me to expound on the importance of this experience and what I've experienced in my dimension within the inspiration of Hype's illustration. If life is like a soundtrack, then most certainly the gifts are the lyrics, but also side by side and equally one of a kind is the image that tells the story to these lyrics in tangible detail. This will explain why, as a little girl, these videos encouraged me to feel like the most beautiful portrait alive. After watching Silly by Terrell Hicks, I looked into the mirror and fell in love with my dreamy brown eyes, imagining my complexion the skin up against the simplicity of black, white, gray tints with the most epic scent. Tears of glitter falling from the eyes of a goddess's skin. Righteous wind, the background changes into rich crystal aluminum. Secretly marinating into my mentality now, forever embedded in that even if so ever when I am God that sheds a tear, it's still glitter and I am that reflection of that beauty and therefore equally divine. My beauty can never be declined. So yes, Goddess did sing out and Goddess did cry, but even throughout her tears, that's still water that glows and that's still water that thrives. But with beauty, she should come aside with a character. Like, no one on the corner has swagger like I wore my Tims and my Fubu so hardcore, even though I was just still so young. It was almost like nobody could tell me that I wasn't a flavor in your ear remix or G-Dex, let's get it. Both hype and fluids. Imagine you could see that and just never knew it. When I was rested on that, I gazed into Brandy sitting up in my room for a hot minute and TLC will always be one of my favorites. As a child, I knew what a music video was. However, it was something about these interesting particular videos from the fish eyes to the colors they felt so warm and the drones flying over these so-called slaves who appeared to me as kings and queens. Well, at least for me. And maybe it was the ice or maybe it was the cream or maybe it was the life merged in with the angles in Busta Rhymes and Janet Jackson. Hello? These videos weren't shot like every other video on the countdown, no. These videos were directed and shot in the signature style. I had no idea at the time that the man responsible for the style was a man named Hype. So if I come off Hype about Hype Williams, here's why. Can Queens, New York stand up for a moment? I just knew it was like watching Black Disney. I mean, really. If you've ever seen videos like Hands Where My Eyes Can See, then I know you most certainly can feel me. Music consistently saves me. I define that as unmatched loyalty. And if it wasn't for creativity, I probably would have suffocated by now. This poem was made in appreciation with a sprinkle of love. For the man beside the music that takes first seats at the round table of legendary visuality. Before making music videos into tastefully dramatic top-notch movie scenes was a thing. Before aesthetics and natural selections of chocolate-shaded women appeared on our TV screens in denim jeans. Like a beautiful cup of multiple flavors of ice cream. 
Cisco X and hype in a cemetery. Images, memories, I will never leave. Hype, you have given life to that very thing, that golden dream, and no matter the amount of RIPs, one love to our legendaries. I want to thank you for your creative assistance into their decorate teams. Like a family picture, you can always go back to, no matter how long it's been. Just appreciating their all and all that they have given, like a guardian. Hype Williams, you have guided these lyrics with your distinctive, peculiar imagination. To the story of the evolution, and I've soaked that all in. The evolution of original art, made for us and invented by us. Hype, you don't deserve your flowers today, because today, you deserve your crown. So I made this poem to honor you right here and right now. It's 2022, and as a 90s baby that just a tad bit studied you, it is my duty and my pleasure to acknowledge you. Hype Williams, we love you.